Hey everyone, Coach Eric here. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel and my other social media on Instagram at Eric Corby Golf. And thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Here we have uh, Morgan Pressel, one of my favorite players on the LPGA Tour, at one of my favorite golf courses uh, in the desert. I'm down here in Southern California, and this is Mission Hills Country Club, I believe. Um, this is the week of the A&A, and this is Morgan's driver swing here that I've pulled up. And interesting is what I see, and I'm going to pull in my body box here that I use. Okay, I'm going to pull this in, and I'm going to place Morgan inside the body box. Now, I took a look at Morgan's stats, and she's averaging around, you know, 238 um, yards driving distance. Accuracy is very good, um, but her distance is, is a little bit lower than it probably should be. And I see a couple things um, that I would work on if this was my student. So awesome, awesome posture here by Morgan. But as we start to take it away, I'm going to go ahead and just let it play in the box. Notice she's always moving. She's, good players are always so dynamic. They're never static. Love how she hovers it right before takeaway. And I want you to watch her body carefully in the box. Okay, that thing was piped right down the middle. Okay, let me run that one more time and really take note of how her body works in the box as she's starting to swing and what her body does in relationship to the lines on the box. Okay, so I'm going to reposition the box just a little bit. Now, here are the things that I see. If you take a look at the backside, you can see her backside is up against the back of the box. Okay, her head is, I've got the box around her head. But as she starts to take the club away, you can already start to see movement of the pelvis towards the golf ball. So right about here, as we get into the P3 position, you can take a look here and see that in the P3 position, the pelvis has actually moved off of the body box just slightly, okay? Which tells me she's moving a little bit towards the, her toes. Her posture is starting to rise up and her pelvis is literally moving closer to the golf ball at this point. Okay, so let me get rid of a couple of those lines. Now, as we continue to into the P4 position, okay, you can see that the club tends to cross the line a little bit. And now she's moved maybe maybe six inches closer to the golf ball. And then as we continue back down into the P5 position, we've increased the, the distance we are from the golf ball. We've actually gotten closer to the golf ball even more in the P5 position. Now here's where you're gonna start to see the body react to the club being behind and the body being closer to the ball than it originally was. You're gonna see Morgan trying to get that club inside. You can start to see the body doing what I call the turtle shell. And that's this little look right here. Okay, the, the rounding of the back. Okay, and that's a turtle shell. Now she's gonna straighten up out of this in order to get the club back in front of her. Okay, so you can see now at impact how much Morgan has moved towards the golf ball and we call this early extension or thrusting, which, you know, it's very common out on the Internet nowadays to talk about early extension. In my world, the early extension is caused by the pressure in the feet. So as Morgan gets back, this is how I would fix this. So we got her in the box. As we start to come away, what I prefer my players to do this is a beautiful takeaway right here. I would like to see a little bit more extension in this trail leg, which would allow the pressure to move into the trail heel and something we call a counterbalance, which is gonna allow Morgan to keep the backside back as she pressures back into the golf ball. So as you can see here, with this leg staying in this flexed position, the right hip is not getting deep enough and there's not enough pressure here to get the club behind her and to maintain the pelvis so there's a lot of things great things going on in this golf swing i think there's a little loss of power here because of the early extension in the golf swing but maybe a little bit more trail leg extension 
in the backswing would give Morgan a little bit more space to power through. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you subscribing. Coach Eric.